Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot. So we're going to do your weekend love messages. This will be for March 8th through the 10th, 2019. This will, I'm going to do um, pull two cards for each sign as we go through. Um, sorry about that. And please do join me on March 8th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as I'm going to be doing a live question read. It's already been posted. Um, the event coming up on my profile page on YouTube on my channel and um, you know you can set a reminder if you'd like to join in you can ask a question and I'm going to try to answer as many as I can oops stuff's falling out here all right give me just one more second so we'll try to get these oh, cards out for you I actually can't remember the name of this deck. I bought it last year, I think, or two years ago. And I, I just can't remember the name of it. So I'd love to tell you, but... And I'm also using the Love Oracle deck. Okay, are we ready? We're going to start with Aries. Okay. You know what? I just want to get, I just felt like I just needed to do one more quick shuffle here. Sorry about that. You can just scooch right forward if you like. Okay. I think that's good. That's going to come out first for Aries. And for those of you waiting for personal readings, I'm getting them out. I'm working on them. I had a little medical emergency, so I wasn't able to do the readings yesterday. Okay, Aries. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Okay. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So something to do with a family situation going on for you. Financial security. Mm, some of you might be having to deal with a will or um, somebody close to you there could be um, the po if you know like if you're going through a divorce or some type of separation from someone uh, there might be a finale you know some information about receiving money or um, finalizing a situation a financial family situation over the weekend. There could be a verbal agreement, implied agreement, contracts. Uh, maybe you'll get a piece of mail on Saturday in regard to that. So when we have this, when you pass from the world card, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's death involved. It could just be someone in your world will not be in your world anymore and that can be taken in any possible way so I don't predict death um, <laughs> so please if you're thinking that that's on you I'm not predicting something like that I feel it's more so that your life is changing in some way um, and you will benefit from this okay so some of you may be waiting to hear something back about a situation or a legal financial family situation uh, trying to find out about your security, your financial security, something to do with a home. Okay, you may have been waiting to hear about this. And so perhaps you will start hearing about um, all of this information. And there's an element here of reminiscing as well. Okay, thinking about, you know, letting go times have passed things are moving on our lives are changing we're going separate our separate ways what have you but i have nothing but good memories um for some of you some of you may not be in that place <laughs> if something's ending you you may not have good memories but some of you may just be kind of like in a melancholy type of situation over the weekend where not that i feel there's regret but there could just be you know, finally putting an end to something and just 
thinking about the good times that was shared and, and kind of saying to yourself, well, you know, it is what it is. This is our path now and let's move forward. Thank you for everything. I'll, I will think only positive thoughts of you as best as I can. Okay. All right. So let's move on to Taurus. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Okay, and you have the Justice card. So that's our Libra card. So some of you Taurians could be dealing with a Libra. Um, there could be a Libra in your life who is um, giving thanks for your time, the time that you may have spent together. Um, there could, and this energy could be yours as well where you know things get made right with the justice card you know there could be you know if you're dealing with a libra and i think you and this person are finally coming to the truth about letting go of things that no longer serve you in your love life and only holding on to the things that do carving away the th what's no longer necessary or what's no longer working okay and perhaps um you know Taurus there could be a Libra coming into your life this could be a past situation or someone new coming towards you but I feel like you know what it is that you want and what it is that you need and you may come to realize this and if it's not libra then it's just the energy of you know this is karmic you know i feel like karma is coming back if you've put it out if you put out good karma in the past it's coming back to serve you especially going on some energy like that going on over the weekend okay you're going to be feeling it all right, so let's move on to Gemini. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay, Gemini. Let's see. Oh, you have the Ace of Wands. How cool is that? So it's a little blurry. I'm going to hold it up this is the passion card the ace of wands there could be birth there could there's a new beginning new passionate creative beginnings happening for you something there's new love coming your dreams are are beginning to get you know your dreams are beginning to uh manifest over the weekend you'll start to hear you're going to see something there could be an invitation or some type of trip or an adventure that you go on or something that really stirs you up fires you up there's also this ace of wands is a sexual card as well it's a very phallic symbol so there's that energy playing out to for you as well there could be someone who is also born in the year of the dragon that stimulates you in some way or does something for you in some way so if you have a trip planned or you're doing something i really feel like um you know your hormones are going to be on high alert this weekend <laughs> so if you're you be careful of conceiving as well over the weekend because this energy could definitely be playing out if you're going somewhere with someone or you're doing something just if you're not trying to uh, have a child just be wary of you know if you need to take precautions definitely do that if you're not trying to this energy could be playing out so you know that could be something for you over the weekend that you might really enjoy it's a new adventure a new adventure so whatever you're coming across Gemini this weekend you know grab a hold of that hold on tight this is a brand new beginning happening for you it's exciting full of passion love creativity and perhaps a lot of sex if you're in that if that's what's happening for you okay so let's move on to cancer so cancer it says criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform and then you have the six of wands 
Oh, yeah. So cancer, if you're trying to have this victory situation in a love relationship, could be with a Leo, um, if not whoever, try to be careful with your words. Learn to be more accepting, forgiving, and come from a place of love to transform and be the victor in your connection with someone or in your relationships in general or whomever you might be involved with. Okay, the people respond to positives, love, patience, kindness, things like that. And it's so easy to criticize each other, um, which usually comes from a place of ego because there's a lack of having our egotistical type needs met, you know, because we're all autonomous. So we do the best we can. Criticizing will only make the situation worse. So it's important to try to spend your weekend focusing more on giving loving words, accepting each other, accepting the other person in order to have that magical transformation. Nobody wants to be around someone who's always criticizing them or complaining or judging. And I'm not saying you're like that, but we're human and, and all of us have a tendency to do that at times. Um, just if you do try to make sure that whatever type of critical judgment that you are passing along, that it's coming from a place of love and not from a place of anger or hurt or from the ego. Okay. Because I feel you will be, uh, you will find victory in the, in a connection with someone by practicing non judgment over the weekend. So you might be having an argument with someone or something's going on. Um, the best thing to do is if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. If that's the best that you can do this weekend, then do that. If you can do better, then do better. Okay. So the next person, the next sign we're going to do is Leo. Okay, Leo. Sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul and for there you will find true bliss. Can you see that? Hmm. I just want to try and get this so that you can see it in my, um, well, it's not going to go back. Okay. So Leo. You have the five of pentacles. Somebody's missing the sex this weekend. Either you or the other person. Um, there's a loss, a feeling of loss, sadness. There's a feeling of being left out in the cold. Um, that sexual warmth. I really just feel like... Um, <laughs> Leo, I'm of course not going to tell you that that's what you should do or you shouldn't do. I just think that you are might become aware of this over the weekend that there's a sexual connection that you have or have had with someone um, that was very deep. And there's an energy here of, um, I mean, you might reconnect with this person for uh, with a sexual connection that union um, to alleviate because I don't feel like it's just you I feel like it's you and another person who are just needing that physical touch and that sensual touch and so you know definitely somebody who's in your life is missing this as well you both are so I don't really feel, um, you know, if you're single and you don't have anyone in your life at this time, you could just be missing that connection with someone and you may need to, um, take it upon yourself this weekend. Like if you're completely single and there isn't any chance of reconciliation with anyone and there's nothing like there's no one in your life, you, <clears throat> you know, it's weird. I don't know. It's not really the same, but a type of analogy be, would be like what they say when if a newborn is it goes through his life never being physically held, uh, something happens to the brain. Something happens to the baby 
if there's no physical touch. Physical touch is very, very important um, part and aspect in a relationship. And I feel like if that's something you need, you may be feeling that very strongly over the weekend or need to have that with someone. Even if you are connected to someone who's just not emotionally good for you or mentally good for you you may still be needing that connection and and wanting that or just feeling lost without that aspect of the relationship it, especially if it went from perhaps it was very sexual to just being friends and very platonic um, there's someone's feeling a loss here over the weekend and maybe expressing that loss as well to you or you to them Okay, so let's move on to Virgo. So it says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. And I know that Virgo is like, I'm sick and tired of being alone. <laughs> king of Wands, okay. So somebody has a connection to a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with someone of those signs. If it's not, they are someone who is um, popular, passionate, ambitious, physical. They're very physical. Uh, doesn't have to be all of those cropped together. It could just be, this person could just have one standout trait like that. They're very warm and loving type of energy. Um, this could be someone that you're connected with who is stepping back over the weekend and is not connecting with you in some way. They're focusing on the, the things that they're doing or giving taking a time out for themselves. And this could also be you taking a time out for yourself from this person or you or you know whoever they may be they could be significant in your life to some degree or whichever degree but it's saying for you to not focus on them over the weekend and you may need a little time away from this person or time to just stay more focused on yourself to start be, you know to give that love to yourself now I know it might you know you don't want to go from constantly giving to one person all the time and then having to take a step back to give to yourself. You should always give yourself a little bit each day. Okay. Um, this person also could be telling you that you need to take a step back from things and stay focused on the things you need to do because you might be a little bit too obsessive with, with the other person and they may need a little break. And just giving some truths out that maybe you it may not be you that's for you to decide if that's what's going on with you um, but I'm just seeing like um, a little bit of time apart over the weekend now if you have plans with someone it's not predicting that you won't be together you may still be together because they are showing up here as being significant it may be just for you to even if you're with them to try to stay focused on the things you need to do anyway Okay, not, not have your blinders on and only seeing them. Okay, don't forget to consider yourself in the scheme of the partnership. Don't forget yourself while in the partnership. All right, so who's next? Libra. Healing. You have the healing card. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Okay. The hermit. So Libra, you're definitely in this healing place right now. You're really not communicating. You're doing a lot of reflecting, especially over the weekend. You may have been prior to this. You may be in this place in your life right now. Um, I feel like you're trying to visualize healing with the person that you're connected to or with your love. You're trying to visualize some healing with this person. Some of you are connected to a Virgo as well. Some of you are Libra uh, on the cusp of Virgo Libra. 
and that could be your energy too so that would be like um the end of september 21st i think 22nd 23rd somewhere along those lines there's definitely an, an energy here of taking some time it, your thoughts produce what you want so when they say imagining yourself and your the other person who you love you're praying you're praying for them sending your prayers out feeling the healing happening between the two of you if you're not connected to a virgo it could just be anyone i just see you reflecting being detached um, i don't see you isolating so much you're just really not communicating with anyone you're focusing on healing at this time and that's great and you could have the other person who is doing the same thing Okay, whoever they may be, it doesn't have to be a lover, it could be a family member, a friend, whoever. Okay, so definitely to take this weekend to um, imagine the person that you are thinking about as being healed, as the relationship is already healed. And that you are both surrounded by light. It's kind of like the law of attraction, you know, feeling the relationship being, uh, it's almost like a little meditative practice for you for this weekend to feel this relationship being he is healed and healthy. Really, I see you really getting into maybe some type of yoga or meditation this weekend or doing or some kind of retreat where you go into nature, the mountains, or you're doing something uh, healing by water, anything. Uh, you're doing something that is really just replenishing your soul this weekend. And that's really, really good for you. Okay, so let's move on to Scorpio. You may not always understand. I shouldn't hold the cards up. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay, Scorpio always having some turmoil. The Three of Cups. Okay, some type of um, reunion, family reunion possibly, um, a gathering. Uh, there's females connected to this. some indulgence there's something that you are not sure of and you are not sure why this can sometimes be a card of um, gossip people saying things if you have a lot of females surrounding you um, talking some shit on you as well and these are things that as it says you know you may you may not understand what's going on or why people are saying certain things about you or why such and such is happening there's a reason there's a higher purpose and it will be revealed to you a blessing will be revealed to you in connection to these events this event that's happening okay um and i'm not saying that you need to get into this place of paranoia because i feel like don't dive in any more deeper than you need to be scorpio don't think too much okay it will be revealed there's something this because it's connected with the word turmoil there's some type of um, turmoil situation that's happening here um, this could be connected to work or family members or if you're male uh, lots of females who are in your life or if you're um, female these could be sisters or even if you're male they could be sisters um, stuff going on and it's kind of like it's not like you're in this victim mode but it's like stuff going on and you're not really sure why this is happening or why people are saying these things about you or why someone is thinking a certain way about you or why people think certain things about you they they're t i'm just feeling this energy of a lot of jibber jab people talking chatting up a storm And you have a little bit of turmoil happening, but through that, you're going to find out what the, the root of the problem is. Some type of a revelation will come to you over the weekend about, perhaps about yourself in connection to 
the, this group here. The three represents communication. And that's why I was saying there's chitter chatter, talking, possibly going on behind your back that you're going to find out about. And it's actually when you find out about it, it's actually, it's going to have like a major revelation to you. You may find out some truths, this, uh, things that you didn't know that these people, or you may not even known that people were saying things about you or, or saying these things or believing certain things about you. You may even come to realize who your, who your true friends or who, who the people are in your life that really have your back, that really support you and accept you regardless of what other people say. So that could be the revelation coming for you this weekend. Okay, let's move on. We have Sagittarius next, right? Yeah. Okay, so it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Out with the old, in with the new, Sagittarius. Oh, you have the devil card. So Capricorn energy here. Um, you're getting rid this weekend of toxic people, places, and things. And I see in doing that, and I know this all sounds so cliche. I feel like it's almost a practice for you over the weekend that as soon as a negative thought comes in or a thought that doesn't serve you, a thought that creates fear, paranoia, panic, distrust, things like that. As soon as that energy comes in, into your thoughts, because our thoughts are energy, um, dissolve them immediately. As soon as you dissolve those thoughts, you open up room for new things to come into your life. And it's almost as if it's a practice in meditation also for you over the weekend. Um, there's some type of an addiction. Uh, there's also a temptation. You want to watch out for temptation, <laughs> uh, pulling you to places that you are not trying to be. Okay. So whatever that means for you, um, it's not a religious thing. It's whatever type of um, something that pulls you back into your old ways. Something or someone. I feel like you're going to have some type of temptation over the weekend for sure. Okay. There could be, um, it could be drinking. It could be drugs. It could be overeating. Um, it could be um, anything excessive but dangerously excessive as well. Um, it could be um, a, a male or a female coming in to your life that is, that, that's very, they may not even be trying to tempt you. Um, at least it may not seem that way. It could just seem tempting to you. You just want to be careful of any indulgences that look really good. That's all. Anything that looks incredibly sweet, incredibly endearing, um, whether it's a person, place, or thing, it could be a, a car that you might want to have, or you might want to buy, um, this energy, it may not be good for you. So you have to really, I feel like you're just going to take this energy and really just look and see, okay, is this right for me? Sit on it for a minute and dissolve anything negative. So if you recognize, don't fool yourself though, over the weekend either, Okay, because the card says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Don't fool yourself that just because something does look so good, it, it may not be right for you. So you may need to just kind of watch out for that energy over the weekend. Okay, who's next? Capricorn? Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. You're getting some type of an offer or message or money of some sort. You have to trust this. It's telling you to trust this. Once you are able to trust 
whatever this is this could be a message could be your tax return it's something um it's some type of a message or an uh, um, that includes some type of an offer that will transform a situation trust interesting it's money for a lot of you um, so of course you have a trust coming to you maybe you maybe you don't even know about it <clears throat> uh, once you accept this that's when things are going to change in your life um, this I'm picking up there's something to do with a bank um, it could be a loan you may have you may get approved for a loan for school or education or a home or a vehicle or something like that. Um, it's a substantial amount of money. Okay. This page of pentacles is really not telling me how much money is coming in. Um, it, but it is telling me that it's some type of message. So you may get some type of notification or hear maybe a text or an email or something. Ed, you guys have been waiting for this something is opening up that's going to change your your situation perhaps your financial situation your living situation your which will affect your love life as well so um i don't feel like it's directly towards love i feel like love is the indirect benefit that your love life will gr will greatly improve because of this okay this is more so hey there's you know some type of message coming in for you um, again that's just gonna change where you are right now you may hear about this you don't hear about it over the weekend like on Saturday or Friday it may at some point you're gonna get something if you've been waiting for something you're gonna get it if you haven't been expecting you're gonna get it if it's some type of tax return or something extra um, that you weren't aware that that you could actually get that that the message about that is gonna come through okay so who's next after Capricorn Aquarius so it says the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is now available to you follow it with faith so Aquarius you've oh yeah ten of swords you have let go of something that has been happening for a very long time this ten of swords is not like all these swords hit you in the back all of one all at once I feel like they were building up something that you have been you've just kind of been like this target on a dartboard for a long time and you and you've just been taking the hits taking the hits taking the hits one after the other fighting back one after the other but eventually you've gotten to this point now where you've hit rock bottom with this and you have released it or you're releasing it over the weekend a new path is opening up to you and the only thing you have to go forward with is your faith whatever that may mean your belief in yourself your faith in the universe whatever this thing has been going on I know some of you've been going through some type of a heartache and you know the energy has been you're you know like you've been feeling it and you've been in this place just like when is this ever going to be over when am I going to be healed when am I going to just stop crying or stop thinking about this? Or when is my heart going to heal? Well, here we go. You're reaching like you're at the end of this now. If you needed that reassurance and guidance about that, you're at the end of it now. It's changing. There are no more swords coming towards you. There are no more. It's done. It's, it's done. The pain. You know, it's funny with this card because it doesn't show that someone is there putting those swords in your back. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. It doesn't show that a person. So it may not be a particular person. It just may be an accumulation 
of everything that's been happening in your life over however, maybe the past 10 years, 10 months, maybe 10 days, something's been hitting you. And it's just really showing me, I'm trying to get this to focus, and of course it doesn't. So it's just really showing me that, it, you know, you're at the end of this now. You have just, this may not be, this may not have been occurring from just one person. This just could have been all around where you were just allowing, you weren't running, you weren't getting out of the way. You were kind of like a, just a pinata hanging from the tree and you were just, you were, some of you were participating in being, um, partic participating in allowing yourself to be, you weren't in your power. Maybe you didn't have the strength. Maybe there was just, uh, you just didn't, you couldn't fight anymore. You just couldn't fight anymore. And now this is behind you. For some of you, you had a major surgery or there was someone you were connected to that had a, a major surgery. Some of you lost somebody as well, physically. And now the whole, a whole new world has opened up or, you know, for your world, your world has, your world is changing. The past is, is done. Whatever the past represents for you, this grieving is over or it's about to be it's very close. Okay. It's the 10. It's the finale. Okay. That was heavy duty. Let's move on to Pisces. So you have the friendship card. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. That's very beautiful. I think we had that last time. Okay, three of swords. All right, so this is basic. I'm not seeing a third party situation. I'm not seeing a breakup. I'm seeing a miscommunication here with someone, some arguments, something that was going on. Somebody needs to apologize. This friendship, this relationship, whatever it may be. Um, there was a miscommunication. Somebody got hurt. The three is communication. Whatever this communication was, whatever this argument was, went straight to the heart. Somebody said something that cut straight to the heart. Cuts like a knife. I'm hearing that song by Brian Adams. And so either you did it or the other person did it or they did it to you and you did it back. There it takes two to tango. Or maybe you didn't say anything. Maybe it was them. Okay, or vice versa. Maybe they didn't say anything. Maybe it was you. Regardless, it's saying here, nurture the bonds of your friendship within your relationship to improve it. So basically, Pisces, you're either going to get an apology from someone over this weekend for whatever they said to hurt you, or you're going to be the one who's going to step up and say, you know what? I was wrong. I'm sorry. I hope that we can continue and try to make our relationship stronger. Um, I feel like it's really good. Sometimes you go through these things. You have arguments. People fight. And the true test of your friendship is not so much the love that you give every day, but how you both bounce back from the difficult times. Do you, does your relationship get stronger, your friendship? Does, it, does the glue get thicker? because you've been through trials and tribulations with each other. So it seems pretty, it doesn't, it looks bleak here, <laughs> but it's not really that bleak. I don't feel, you know, I will say for those of you that have had great heartache, wherever that heartache comes from, whether it's an argument or a breakup or whatever it is, nurturing the connection either with your friends to help replenish your heart or with this person, or apologies, it, this is on the table, this is on tap for the weekend, okay, so if you walked into a bar, and they only had three drinks on tap, you choose apology, accept the apology, or forgiveness, you, it's just, it's, the bottom line is, were you guys really good friends, you'll know, because either this situation will make this relationship stronger or it's just completely done. And if it's completely done and over, well, then there really wasn't that much of a connection there. 
Maybe it wasn't for them. Or maybe it wasn't for you. But you'll find out over the weekend. Okay, guys, so that's going to be your weekend reading. I hope that I see you all on Friday, 2 p.m. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too crazy. I know sometimes the free question readings can get a little nutty. Um, if it does, if I, I have no idea how many people to expect. So if it does get crazy, um, please know that uh, I'll try to answer everyone's questions as best as I can. Um, sometimes when you make a payment in that super chat donation thing, um, it highlights it and, and that does help, but please know that's not a requirement to get your question answered. Okay. Um, if you want to donate something, you obviously always can, and it's always appreciated. Um, but if you do, like I said, when it's the high, it highlights for me, I can see your question with your donation. And like, I think it's bright yellow. And it, of course that does make it easier for me to see that. But again, donations are not necessary. It's just a um, thank you for all of the support. Okay, guys, I'm going to go have some dinner and then try to get the rest of these readings out. So I hope you all have a beautiful weekend and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.